Hey everybody, Daniel here, and today we're going to take a quick look at Goose VPN. Goose VPN is a Dutch VPN service provider, and they're fairly new to the industry. In this video, we'll be checking out the website, going over some of the features and the pricing of the VPN service, and finally, we'll sign up for a package, download the software, and give it a nice test run. We'll also perform a few tests to make sure that our IP address is truly hidden and that our location is also being masked. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is head on over to www.goosevpn.com. And right away here we see Goose VPN guarantees your safety on the internet with an affordable and customer friendly service. And what I like about Goose is that they offer one month of free service and they have a package as low as about three euros a month. Their service seems to be available on Mac, Windows, Android, and the iPhone operating system. And further down the page a bit, they claim to be able to make you safer on public Wi-Fi connections. It's supposed to be easy to install and to use, and they apparently have uh, no log policy. And that's always a plus when it comes to your VPN service. Uh, Goose claims to help you actually limit the risk of becoming a victim of hackers that can steal your credit card information and passwords and emails and even your personal photos. It says with Goose, you can watch all your television programs no matter where you are. That means uh, that Goose VPN can help you remove some of the geo restrictions that are actually put in place uh, to not allow people from one country to watch shows that are restricted in another country. It says here, by using the local IP address, you can actually benefit from local advantages and things like buying local products with a local IP address can save you a lot of money. Further down the page, they claim to be getting good reviews from some of the other VPN review sites, and they're proud to show off their user testimonials as well. And before we take a look at the prices and packages, let's see what the Take a Tour link at the top has in store for us. On this page, we can see a brief commercial that explains a lot in a short amount of time. And Goose VPN is said to create a secure tunnel between your device and everything else that you do online. Down the page a bit, Goose VPN states that it's using a high strength 256 bit encryption to protect your connection. And it claims to be able to let you uh, watch your shows from anywhere and, and let you get a local IP address. On top of protecting your data, Goose claims that you won't be pestered by targeted advertising that's based on your location. And this chart here below shows the differences between using an internet connection with or without Goose. And we've already mentioned all the benefits here, but this is everything in a nice chart form. So let's scroll down a bit. We can see their server locations list. As we see, they are, there are several different servers we can pick from. And uh, this, of course, allows us to look like we're actually using the internet from any one of these locations, thus bypassing any geo restrictions that I mentioned earlier. All right, so I've seen enough. Let's go ahead and check out the cost of all this. I'll click on the prices and packages link way up here at the top of the web page. So it looks like there's three different packages here. Each one comes with one month of free service. The cheapest package on the right is $2.99 per month and the package allows for usage on an unlimited amount of devices, super fast servers where P2P is allowed, and you basically get all of this with a no log policy. There's also a 50 gigabyte limit on this package, however. The package on the left is $6.99 per month and offers everything I just read out to you, except this package is not limited in terms of data used per month. And their middle package ends up being $583 per month if it's paid annually. So this one's actually going to save you 17% on the overall cost versus the other two packages. So in other words, this one will bill you one time a year, but save you some money. For the purpose of this review video, I'll sign up with the $299 package here on the right. So let me click on the sign up button and get started. All right, it looks like we have a form to fill out and we can choose our package right here. There's even a discount code box right there and it looks like PayPal is our payment option. So let me fill out the form up here and click on the start 30 day free trial button down here. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the payment has been made, I'm going to click on return to goose. And it says, congratulations, you now have a Goose account. Click here to download Goose. All right, let's do that. There's my login at the top. 
Okay, Goose for Windows. Let's see. Do you use Goose on the Windows operating system? Yes, there's a big download software button. Here's where you get the Mac, the iOS, and Android versions. I would assume Yeah, it's telling you to go to Google Play. There's a download link for the Mac. So if you're using Windows, click on that button and download the software right there. And just save it anywhere. Once it's finished downloading, you can open it up here or you can just go to wherever you downloaded it and open it up there. Let's take a look. I'm going to choose English. Okay, I'm just going to hit next on through, accepting the license agreements, and you can choose where you want to install it here if you want. I'm going to remove some of these checks, and I'm also going to leave the Windows firewall um, exception check. That's a good thing. And once it's done, you can leave the launch Goose VPN button checked and click on finish. And this is what it looks like. Here's the app itself. So let's see what we do. We can log in with our uh, email address and the password that we just made. All right, so here we go. Your connection is not secured yet. Traffic limits the 50 gig limit that we have here for the 299 account. It's giving me my current IP. And let's see what this button is. Okay, these are all the server lists, all, all the different server locations. Um, hmm, let's check out a little bit more first. What's this? Five gigabytes, 10 gigabytes. Not really sure what that does. Okay, what's this? Little guy here. Okay, it takes you to your um, account page basically. It tells you when your subscription ends and your traffic consumption and all this stuff. Okay, I don't need to see any of that yet. What about the little gears button? Okay, so here's the settings menu. In the general tab, you can have it minimized to system tray and not close. You can have it give you a, a reminder when it's not connected while Goose VPN is minimized every 15 minutes. So that's in case you forget to be, uh, in case you forget to secure yourself, it can remind you. Start Goose VPN at launch. Okay, so that's when your computer starts up. You can start Goose as well and the default language and support ticket allows you to provide debug data okay your account all right all that good stuff we can we can leave that alone let's see connection connect to vpn automatically connect to your favorite server from the list so these are different options you can do and then the protocols it's got ikev2 for faster better compatible for more devices and there's also open vpn so you have the option of choosing either one of those protocols I'm going to leave it on this for right now while we do the test, and I'm going to save it. And let's go ahead and pick a server now. Hmm. hmm. There's all the U.S. servers at the bottom, then the U.K., all of these here. Let's, let's do something from uh, Finland. I haven't done Finland before. And after that, I'm going to choose to click on that button. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Okay, now that it says we're connected, Let's test that out. I'm going to go to a website called ipleak.net and we're going to see where our IP address shows that we're coming from. So it's doing its little test. Okay, and there it is. It's showing we're coming out of Finland from several different servers. There we go. It's even got a map for us. How about that? That's what we want to see. That's telling us that we're masking our connection. Okay, another test that I want to do is a test over here on test-ipv6.com. It's going to kind of show us some similar info. Here it says that we're coming out of uh, Finland as well, and that's what we want to see. So this site also thinks we're coming out of a different location. Here's a couple more things for those of you who want to see some of those statistics. That's pretty good. That's what we want to see. Last test I want to do is dnsleaktest.com. All right, and here we are. It's showing that we're coming from Finland over here as well. Now, let's do an extended test. What a DNS uh, leak test is going to show us, if every time you go to a website like yahoo.com or something, your computer has to translate that into an IP address to actually reach the site. 
and it does this by making a connection with the DNS server. And in that process, some VPNs don't mask that connection, thus it can give away your location. And here it's showing that we're still coming through the Netherlands from several different um, server queries. So that's good. That's just what we want to see. What about speed? Let's try just going to YouTube real quick. Let's see what kind of speed we have. Uh, I'm going to pick one of these. Let me mute it. I'm just going to skip around a little bit. It looks like it's buffering just fine. Yeah, it's it's doing just fine. Let's see, it's on 1080p. So it's giving me high quality 1080p video as fast as I need it. Good stuff. I'd say the speed is excellent. So let's go back and check out the account page here. And this basically will, uh, this is our dashboard right now. We can click the download button and get to the actual software for any of our devices. And on the support link here there are a couple of links at the bottom if you're running into any trouble and um, let's see what else you can click on this up here and go to settings and this is where you can change uh, your account info cancel your subscription and even at the bottom you can change your password so that's pretty straightforward as far as any support you can uh, you can click the support button and actually send them an email right there I forgot to mention that and that's about it. Goose VPN also has a blog which features industry news, helpful guides, and company updates. It's definitely one of the more interesting and informative blogs from VPN providers that I've seen during my time reviewing VPNs. In the end, Goose was very easy to install and use. I had no problems figuring out the software. Uh, it's also great they have a 30-day free trial that definitely scores them some points. I did like the fact that they have over 22 different server locations to choose from. And another good thing about Goose VPN was that they allow you to use unlimited devices with just a single subscription. The speed seemed to be just fine too with the default IKEV2 connection protocol. However, I only received mediocre speed when I selected the OpenVPN protocol. I didn't really like the fact that uh, it allows you to change servers only when you're disconnected. And, uh, you know, all in all, it got the job done, but I do think uh, you get quite a bit more from some of, the, uh, some of the other VPNs out there. I would have really liked to have seen maybe some kind of support ticket system if you have problems on the site or a live chat service right there, but you can't always have everything. I give it a three stars out of five, and I can recommend it to anyone looking for a really affordable VPN service without too many bells and whistles. For more great review videos, head on over to bestvpn.com where you can find high quality and very detailed reviews of around 60 different VPN services.